career. I believe he's the second greatest foreign-born player behind Hakeem Olajuwon, and he changed the way the game is played. Before Dirk Nowitzki, Skip, if you were seven foot tall, you played on the block. He was the first seven foot guy that says, you know what? I don't just have to exclusively play with my back to the basket. I can play. And he played mainly on the perimeter and behind the three point line. He was that skilled. Uh, he had a that, that step back one foot shot skip was unblockable because he was already seven foot tall and he was launching it at an apex of probably about 10 feet tall. Mm -hmm. So you weren't blocking that shot. And then he brought a guy that came along called Kevin Durant. And this is what Kevin Durant said. Dirk is a little bit more special to me when it comes to players that I admire look up compared to some of the other guys. It was just a myth that being a seven-foot shooter. In my neighborhood, you heard about that being that tall and being a shooter. They were like, hell no. Nah. We've never seen anything like that before. That's what he did. Mm. And so Dirk, go Skip, I think he's underappreciated because two things happened to him. Is that he was smack dab in the middle of Kobe's Shaq run, and then here come LeBron. Mm. So... It's kind of like these guys that played along with, with Jordan's era. They were really, really good, but they were never the best. And so it goes unnoticed. It's kind of like we look at Drew Brees. He's the all-time leading passer. Mm -hmm. But what he had the misfortune, Skip, Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. And so Tom has three MVPs regular season, six Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. Peyton has five MVPs, two Super Bowls, going to four. And so Drew gets swept to the wayside. And unfortunately, I feel that's how we do it looking at dirt. I don't know if we realize just how special he was, Skip. Mm. A 50-40-90. He could shoot 50% from the floor, 40% from the three-point line, 90% from the free throw line. So when you look at that, and a guy that skilled that could shoot the ball like that, coin the, the phrase, a stretch. Mm. Seven foot tall, Skip, you played, you played center. Mm. And you weren't shooting no threes. You weren't roaming around the perimeter. Mm. Boy, get your butt down on the block and post up. But that wasn't who he was. Hmm. And then now you get an even more skilled <laughs> version of Dirk in Kevin Durant. So I'm afraid, Skip, as time passes on, we're, gonna, we're not going to remember Dirk in the capacity in which we should have hmm. because of the <laughs> era in which he played. And now there's a more skilled version of him hmm. because he wasn't putting the ball on the floor, getting to the bucket like KD can <clears throat> and does. Hmm. But... The skill set to be able to shoot the ball from three, to be able to shoot the ball in the mid-range game, mm -hmm. he was it. Mm. He was it. He could do that. I'm sorry, but I'm <laughs> about to underappreciate <laughs> Dirk. Worried you were going to go there. Yeah. I give you top 50 player. I, I give you longevity. To, to play that long at, at a pretty high level, is, is extraordinary. Let's just say 17 years. The last four skip. I know. It, it, what, the PER just kept dropping and dropping <laughs> and dropping. But you offend me when you call him the second best foreign born player because Manu Ginobili was the second best. I'm sorry. He just was. I'll mm -hmm. take Manu any day or night up against Dirk because I saw him up against Dirk time and time again, yeah. and he will beat Dirk. Did he, did he bring Tim Duncan? Along with him? Or did he leave Tony Park at home? Dirk had a did he bring Kawhi him. with him? Or did he leave those guys at home? You just don't get it. But I'm going to leave that be, and I'm going to stay on Dirk. Okay. If you look at the big picture playoff career, mm -hmm. and I put I, I bank the playoffs, he wound up 69 and 76 in the postseason. Not bad, but not great. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a dominating player because look at the two finals. In the first finals against Dwayne, when Dwayne just took it over, yeah, in he... large part from the free throw line, but he took the finals over. Yes. And Pat Riley said in 06, Dwayne was the best player in the league, and he was in 06. Okay. That was kind of the height of Dwayne, and then his knees began to creak after that. But in that finals, Dirk did average 23, 11, and 3. Pretty good numbers, but he shot 39% from the field, which is not great, and 25% from 3 in those games, right. the, the play, in the finals in the games. Finals. And then he did win MVP of the 2011 finals and put up big numbers, 26, 10, and 2. He, he never was a, a passer or a sister. But I got to tell you, in 2011, he owes LeBron for that one because LeBron just handed it to him because they were in command up two games to one, and then we know what happened. Mm -hmm. LeBron just couldn't handle the spotlight. It was going to be his breakthrough. And for whatever reasons, game four, five, and six, LeBron melted down. And, and I feel like... Dirk won that by default. He won MVP, and no. they won the championship You do by realize default. in order for Dirk and them to get to where they got, 
they swept mm -hmm. the two-time defending champ, mm -hmm. L.A. Lakers. They did. With one Kobe Bryant, mm -hmm. who they say at the time was the best player. Yeah. Paul Gasol, Andrew Bynum, Derek Fisher, Lamar mm -hmm. Odom. They swept them. Okay. And that goes unnoticed. So, help me out. Dirk made how many... All defensive teams? Man, How about no, zero? Skip, How about know. zero? Because he just didn't play defense. No, he that could. wasn't his thing. No. He averaged for his career two assists <laughs> a game. Two assists a game. Yes. So he didn't defend and he did not share. Okay. Okay? But he averaged 21 points and eight rebounds. So I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you top 50. But when you talk about impact on the scoreboard, not so much because – Four of the last five years, they didn't make the playoffs. Six of the last eight years, they didn't make the right. playoffs because he was fading. But but I don't ever think he was that guy. Just to me, what he was made of, and again, I rooted against him many nights I because San Antonio and Dallas were big rivals, and yeah. it, it went back and forth and back and forth. But mostly it was Spurs over Mavericks. And in the end, I'm sorry, he just wasn't that guy. He, he, I can't put him in the same breath as you, you talk about him like he's an all timer, all time great. You're top 50 player. Okay. I'll give you top 50. But and he's in know, front is he of in Manu. The, is he, is he and like, he's in front of Manu. Is he like 48th or. He's yeah, in front okay. of Manu. He's not in front of Manu. Manu Raju, Manu yeah. Ginobili, yeah. Any, anybody else named Manu. At the end of a game, I want the ball in Manu's hands because great things are going to happen. And in the end, the, the guts and the driver of the didn't Spurs. Manu miss, didn't Manu mm. miss a free throw in that Miami series? Mm. Did he miss one of those? Okay. Are you sure you played a the, long time? Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Do you want to go back and look at how many I, times Manu beat Dirk? Skip. Ooh. I just want to ask you a mm. simple question. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Because you say, what if they fouled him? You know who missed the, the throw? biggest free throw down the stretch of game six? It was number two in Toronto. That guy, he was just a little a kid. Yeah, a little baby. Just like we said, he a baby. Little baby. I want the ball yeah. in Dirk's hand yeah. because if you foul him, he ninety percent. Well, in that, that, in that game, I wanted the ball in LeBron's hands because he had three turnovers in the last three minutes, all of them unforced error, uncharacteristic. What are you doing, LeBron? They scored sixteen, and then he. I'm scoring sixteen. We down ten. Then I wanted the ball in LeBron's hand. Let him take that last shot to tie. And what did he do? He lebricked it. Okay, what happened? He lebricked it. What happened it. in overtime? Who had the ball in their hands in overtime? My Skip? team was shot in the what, heart what, by Ray what, Allen. What you mean? Shot in the heart. Oh, so they uh, bled out last in year. They last bled year, out. That's what happened. On the floor. That's bleeding. what happened to LeBron. Yeah. He was he was shot in the heart by JR. You realize that? You, who, JR. Do, do now you who shot JR? You remember that? Skip? At the end of regulation, they cordoned off the court yes. ready for the trophy presentation yes. to my my, yes. kids, oh. my Spurs. Ooh. This was it. It's over. And I and my son was he running upstairs. Yeah, yeah that, you know, he poking fun. But guess what? Oh, so that's where your oh, so I was I your read bitterness that. comes from. Your son was a Spurs fan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Now we got the he, source of he, your bitterness. No. He's not a Spurs fan. Uh. He's an anti-LeBron fan. Oh. So he rooted for the he moved. For the, uh, the Celtics, the Nets, anybody that was in Chicago, anybody that's going up against LeBron. But guess what? I ran out of the stairs in the basement and started jumping on the bed. I broke the bed down. I said, Daddy, you broke my bed. And no, it's my bed. I bought this, son. Huh. Don't worry about it. But anyway. <laughs> so your son was enlightened. No, he wasn't. He got it from the uh, start. You are sort of look on his face. Huh. You are sort of look at the face. When Ray hit that shot, I said, it's over for y'all. <laughs> y'all not winning the championship. It's over. And then game seven, who took that thing over, Skip? LeBron James did. I give you that. He was playing against five cadavers. You know, five. Do that. Do that. five, five but, cadavers. Skip, you do realize Dirk is only a handful of players that got thirty thousand career points. You okay, do I got, that. I got that. And and listen, when I was rooting against him, that step back rainbow was oh, yeah, the, so. or the one legged. You know, it was just like you can't stop that. Everybody shoot it. Okay? KD shoots that I shot know. now. You know who else shoots that shot? Over okay, who do you want, KD or Dirk? I'm taking I mean, KD any not, day or night. Well, seriously, not, but that's seriously, my, that's my point. Is that he's going to give it even push further back? Because KD is seven foot and even more skilled than Dirk. He is even more, more scoring skilled. titles, MVP, he gets to the rim better. He, oh, yes, yes, okay. yes. He no, defends no better. Yes. He passes better. But before, let me ask you a question. Before Dirk named a seven footer that could do what he okay. could do. He revolutionized. I'll yeah. give you that. Yeah. yeah. So that that's worth something, ain't it? I'm sure there are smarter people than Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. But when you go back to the genius and who we think of, Skip. So when we think of a I, I'm not sure there is anybody smarter. Than you, you look at a, huh? you look at OJ Shaw. Huh? Smarter than <laughs> oh, Einstein? Did we just get a? I'm smarter than I'm Albert really Einstein today. Hold on, in my field. Now, when it comes to mathematics and all that yeah. stuff, do, do, you, do you understand E equals MC squared? Do you do you know what that means? Do you, do you, who created that? 
Pink read all that. Okay. But this knowledge up here, we don't right up here. Math skip. on the show. Just run that. I just run them down. Really like out of line. Really? <laughs> okay. Either way. I can go back from 19, from like 1973. All the Heisman Trophy winners coming for All the national champions in basketball coming for Skip, I got that knowledge like that. Skip. Hmm. We're gonna say. Was it go up in the computer? Mm-hmm. It's there. Mm. Oh yeah. Was it? Was it go? Ooh. It locked in. Okay. Uh, congrats to Dirk. Can we just congrats, that? congrats no. Dirk? He did Way a lot in the community I'm not, as well. That's, that's first hate. He said, I left Germany 20 years ago. I became a Texan. He and did. that is how he will be remembered as Excellent. well.